profit. I want everybody to comment below how many months are you at with the dreadlock journey so that everybody can just comment below under your comment and congratulate you and everything. You know, before I started my dreadlock journey, I was inspired by Sway Lee. I don't know if he's old rapper. I think he's currently still rapping, but back then. I ain't got no time. You wanna make a flick for the camera? Yeah? Wanna be Kim Kardashian? I don't got no type. That was the hair or the dreadlock that I was really inspired by and I didn't know how to do hair and there was not really YouTube channels 2013 and stuff like that and I'm like I want dreadlocks like him and so this is you know 30 months update but I'm gonna break down every step that I took to where I got to this point and the inspiration behind it why I started my dreadlocks how long has it been how many colors have I had in my hair what are the hard things that I faced with dreadlock and where am I at and where am I going in the future so this is all that's going to be answered in today's video Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe and today is a new day Yeah, we got a what? We got a banger! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Guys, this is very exciting because 30, 30 months is a great, 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 great accomplishment for a dreadlock or a dreadhead that has been, you know, persevering throughout the whole journey. My hair right now currently is transitioning to a silver dye. And so please guys hold on on this video because there is a silver actual dye coming soon. And it may be a different dye than, than what you guys are expecting, but it's going to be platinum silver for sure. And I'm, I'll be able to deliver that. For those of you guys that have not, you know, been following the journey, basically I'm on a journey right now to give you guys what you guys been requesting, which is a platinum silver and I will be coming really soon like really really soon so make sure you guys subscribe and hit the thumbs up it costs zero dollar to do so all right so to start off man I was so inspired by Sway Lee this was back in like 2014 when you know I ain't got no time you wanna make a flick for the camera yeah wanna be Kim Kardashian I don't got no type you know that song was out there you know I don't listen to songs like that and uh, yeah I was inspired by his dreadlocks uh, not really by his music but my, by his dreadlocks and I was like I want his dreadlocks man and I was young at that time and you know YouTube wasn't a thing really so I was looking for somebody to do my hair but I lived in the suburbs of Kansas City Kansas and there was literally nobody to do my hair so guys like who can do my hair like you know there's no connection no people that I haven't seen I don't even know when the last time I saw a black person in that neighborhood. And so it was really hard for me basically to get a haircut, to do something to my hair, just different things like that. So I had literally a fro just like that. Dabble, dub, 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 did all that. Ooh, wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> And you know, I try to put a hoodie on, and that made it worse because it just pat down, all smacked down to the to my head, and my hair was really long. Like if I had you know to pull my hair down, it'd probably be like right here, but it's dapped down so much that it's literally the length of where this is at right here. From the beginning, when I was a kid, I have never wanted a short hair, and short hair never looked good on me because of my head shape. My head shape is kind of different I guess it's kind of weird and so and it takes off like two three inches off of my height and so on a regular base like this I look like you know I'm six three but without hair I look like four eight so I do not want to go down that route to where I look so short with the short hair so I just never cut my hair short there's one time that I did it and I regretted it and I wear hoodie and hat for the rest of the journey to grow my hair out 
after looking and searching, finding nobody to do my hair, I decided to just get a cut that looked like Sway Lee, which was a mohawk fro. And I had a mohawk fro for about, I think, six months or so, and I loved it, and it was dope, it was cool at that time. Odell Bacon had a mohawk with the bleach hair, and you know, that signature that he did, and every kid got it, basically. I was one of those. I didn't. I just didn't have the bleach in my hair. But I was actually inspired by Sway Lee and not by Odell Bacon, so make that note. And so later on, I decided, okay, this is a struggle. You know, every day I wake up, my hair be packed down on the back, smacked down like somebody smacked the mess out of me when I was asleep, that when I wake up and I try to comb it out, it was hard and it hurt the most. Those of you guys that have a hair type of 4A, 4B, 4C, you guys know the struggle picking out your hair. It's the worst thing ever. I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's annoying. It's one of the things about even having a fro is that's the one of those things. And my hair hurt in the back. I'm tender-headed, man. Um, I just I just used to be mad like picking up like oh and so I decided to chop it down I have a high top fade and I went for that and that's when I moved to Arizona and met Gunther the Great. Gunther the Great at that time was uh, up and coming dreadlock YouTuber that has been doing dreadlock YouTube for about I think a year with my big bro Donate the Great or call him Donate the Great but Donate daily you guys know him as on his youtube channel so after i saw him doing what they did you know i had the dreadlocks and different things i'm like i want to transition into that and get to the great came up to me was like do you want to you know get a dreadlocks or anything like that and i'm like not right now because i want to do different things that i've been wanting to do for a long time because i wasn't able to find nobody to do my hair but then now you inspired me to do hair because i'm like okay so he could get dreadlocks done with themselves and YouTube it and vlog it. Why not start doing my own hair? Like, you know, two strand twists and different things like that. Uh, I think more, one of the most things that I struggle with doing different hair is the braids. Braids was like not a, not my thing, but two strand twists, I got it down pretty good. And so I was featured on Gunther the Grey 2017 to do a sponge rub method for you guys. And that was a dope video because that, I think that's one of his videos that blew up at that time to like a million views. And everybody on that video wanted me to start my journey, but I was running on my own pace and that I knew that I didn't want to get dreadlocks yet. And so when I started doing, you know, different things with my hair, I started getting more featured on great locks. Uh, at that time was gun locks. I don't know if you guys know that, but back then it's called gun locks. Hey, what's up, man? Forgot to do an introduction before I wet up my hair, but you know what I'm saying? Fire coming, you know what I'm saying? Why you making a face like that? I love it. They're about to like it more. You about to love it more. So we doing a, uh, what is it called? I call it one strand twist, man. You just grab part of the hair, you twist it, cut it up. But yeah, check it out, man. Give it a thumbs up, man. It's gonna be a fire video like the other ones. We in this thing, let's go. Uh, I was featured on that, you know, doing two strand twists, how to get curly hair and different things like that. And here are some clips right now. You guys can see. You know, I start rocking my hair. I start liking it with, you know, I, I basically noticed my hair would be nice with dreadlocks because I did a two strand twist and I put like a, a bandana on and, you know, my glasses on. I'm like, this is pretty crispy. So I knew that when I get dreadlocks, it's going to be fire. And so my journey continues. You know what I'm saying? This is 30 months, 30, this is 30 months update. And I'm slowly but surely getting to this point that I'm at. And hope this inspires you guys to you know start your drill locks uh, and what that means to you also it has everybody has their own story you know to their drill locks to their hair journey and i believe is a big part of our journey in life especially if we're growing drill locks and a lot of females can relate with taking care of their hair you know moisturizing their hair and different things more than a lot of guys do i would say and they know that big part of their life is their hair and their how they look and their beauty and so as men i think we have those things that we don't want to admit which is like you know having a connection with our hair and our hair journey and how we want to look how we want to be perceived and different things but sometimes we don't express it but this is my whole expression this video right here so hit the thumbs up if you want to or hit the thumbs down if you don't like it so after being inspired getting you know different hairstyles and stuff like that one day i decided okay it's time to get dreadlocks i did braids i did two strain twists like i said cornrows i did everything and the last hairstyle that i wanted was a finger coil method and i did that to section out my hair to get it ready for dreadlocks and it was done by my wife it's a verse Locked in. Whenever they locked in, they'll be dressed. Evie. 
and check out our verse family channel if you want to see what we do there because that's my wife and i love her to death so she did my sectioning for my drill license it's crazy it's still in my hair after the finger coil method which is like basically a finger coil is you you grab a section of your hair and you coiling it up basically like like palm rolling it or you know coil finger coiling it like that and letting it be how it is and it looks like semi dress semi free form type of hairstyle so i hit up get to the grid at that time 2018 december time so at the end of 2018 the beginning of 2019 is when i got my dreadlocks get his hair done and see what everything's looking like first off because i'm not even sure really let me make sure i'm still up for it let me know if i hurt your head all right so i basically did a dry separation everything seems pretty separate and it's actually sections are really good so now like i said i'm just going to spray it down and then to get a better separation and then go in with locking gel and i'm going to do it every dread by itself i'm not going to do locking gel and then come back in with crochet needle like i'm going to literally grab one dreadlock and then twist it and then go with the crochet needle and then pull it in all together so that time i start i had already like a dreadlock up to like my like li literally like right here and it looked like i've been in the dreadlock for like a year and a half or so and a lot of people loved my dreadlocks and it's you guys that loved it and i thank you guys so much because that's the reason i continue to bring these type of contents out and it looked really really great like i was like wow this look amazing like no wonder why people get dreadlocks you know like it's like you, you shake it and you feel it and i don't think i could get in a ponytail which is my second you know milestone to get in there so i know that i didn't start my original inspiration which is sway lee hairstyle or you know the mohawk dreads but i was able to start this dreads and i mean look where i'm at today again after getting the dreadlocks i wanted to dye it half and half by the inspiration of xxx tentacion which was one of the first one to do half and half on dreadlocks maybe people have done it on other hairs but that's the first one that I, I was able to see. I wasn't into the music uh, for XXX Tentacion, but he was a great musician. I'll tell you all, he's a great artist. He's, he was very versatile on how he brought his music out. It was not just rapping or screaming, because I used to think he screamed a lot, which is one of his first songs that blew up. But I'll tell you guys this much, his hair was the best also. So I was inspired by his half and half, so I went and got a half and half bleach. Uh, uh, and dye dreadlocks and I was able to present it to you guys and you guys really messed with it by gaming me over like 60,000 uh, views which was really big at that time for me because I wasn't even at 10,000 subscribers yet so I was just like wow these people are amazing like April I started my journey and I think at the end of that year uh, beginning of 2020 is when we hit 10,000 subscribers I believe and I was able to give you guys what you guys want a second which was a blue dreadlocks for my wedding at that time and between my half and half and my blue there was a black that I had to bleach my whole hair to black because I was getting married at that time and that was 2020 of March and so I went to black for that wedding and it was amazing, it was beautiful. I put like, you know, some jewelries and stuff like that. And you guys really start messing with the dreadlock jewelries. And I was like, if they really like it, then I'll, I have to make it available for you guys. And so at the, in 2020, I think in the middle of 2020, I think it was June, July, uh, I was able to bring you guys the Activerse jewelries that work for dreadlocks, braids, and different things, and you guys really messed with it and sold out on the first day. So I just took a step back and I'm like, I need to bring it out in a better way and the journey continued i went from black to having a bleach which is getting prepared for the color blue and you guys really really messed with that and thank you guys so much thank you guys so much for messing with that because that video hit over i think 80,000 views i think and thank you guys so much and so the journey continues you know what i'm saying the journey is not stopped yet the hardest thing throughout those journey was the fact that people were bashing me for dying my dreadlocks but i wanted to give you guys what you guys wanted because you guys always gave me what what i wanted which was you know reaching out to more people subscribers likes those things matter especially like subscribing and liking because it pushes my content out to other people and makes the community grow not just my channel grow but the community so now if you guys like literally have a dreadlock channel you guys are able to get subscribers like that because people are you getting used to dreadlock community dreadlock community dreadlock community and now guess what if you start a dreadlock channel i usually shout out people too that have subscribed to me that's been showing love i plug you guys in my videos to get love as a dreadlock creator content creator and i've done a video also how to start your dreadlock youtube channel how to go about it how to be successful about it and you know that's the journey we're in and it's not just my growth it's the community growth we're almost at 30k uh 
20,000 subscribers was, was the next milestone that I wanted to bring a new hair color. But one of the things that I faced a challenge was, you know, I had to move to a new place. So with the apology that I brought in the last video that I'm sorry guys, on 20K I wasn't able to deliver what you guys wanted, which is the platinum silver. I am working right now towards that and it's one of the hardest thing I've had to do and I'm going around it by taking a little bit of, I would say shortcuts because I can't keep bleaching my hair. Uh, recently I had to, had to cut my hair because I lost on a basketball match as you guys see right here. How about if you beat me, shave my hair. <laughs> I beat y'all do the same. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Oh my god. Oh lord, I don't want to hear it. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh shoot. That I have to redeem myself still for that. So, the journey is not done. The journey still continues, man. And I'm so happy because my dreadlock is really, really long right now. And I'm able to show you guys what it looks like. And uh, I have attempted recently to dye it silver, but it didn't work out. I feel like... Uh, there was no tutorial to watch on YouTube like there was not that many information about it And the only information that I was able to find was for people that did it over waves and stuff like that And that looked very sketchy on a drill logs. There's no way you can apply what they apply on a wave hair on a shorter hair to a drill log because drill lock in itself is a different type of animal on the last video my hair uh, my drill lock fell out because you know the drill lock that got cut I tried to connect it recently and as I was dying it to platinum blonde or platinum silver as you guys can see some of the silver right here as uh, I was trying to do that I accidentally you know over put it and literally came out so I have literally a patch right here it's not a patch there's some hair oh shoot but I need to reconnect those dreadlocks again soon. And I'll be able to do that soon. So this is what my hair looks like right now. You know, like it's crazy, but it's just so long. Like it's it's been in a ponytail. Like if it was down, it'd be like, you know, like like down here, like like right here. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like right now. And it's been a great journey, man. I'm so happy, so excited. And it's one of like the best journeys, you know. I have ever taken in my life because it takes a lot out of you man the patient the endurance you know the the mindset of it like sometimes you like you just have the thoughts too like what would I look like if I cut my dreadlocks right now like if I get you know waves or if I get shorter hair or shorter dreadlocks or go back to starting again you get those thoughts and it is basically your responsibility to defeat those thoughts and basically get to where you want to get to which is like three year I think three year mark is one of my biggest struggle and journey because actually I forgot to mention earlier that on a, one of my first few months of my dreadlocks I didn't really know how to do retwist like another you know loctician or youtuber did and so I had let go of my dreadlocks for a long time and it became tangled like this and literally gun to the grid had to come for the rescue to get my dreadlocks out of there it was a crazy time I think. right there one two three four five six you can picture one two three four five six Six, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six of them right there. It's like a Kit Kat. It's kind of like that. Kit Kat. Yeah. But after that, I learned so much. I know how to do my retwist now. I know how to do uh, different styles. Like, like, dying is like my profession Like right now. Like, if you ask me anything about dying, I think I have a lot of knowledge because I've done it so many times. And still able to maintain my dreadlock because they look good still. They have a little bit of frizz, but it's like, it's not like my dreadlock is done. Like, look at that. And this is like the black part of it versus look at the dye part of it. This should be more thinner. This should be more damaged looking, but it's really not. It's just consistent. And so this is what my hair looks like right now. And it's like, that is the 30 months, man. This is the 30 months update. 30 months. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it keeps going to 30. That's just crazy. So for those of you guys that has been, you know, in the lock family or that has been, you know, growing your hair for almost 30 months, comment below. And also comment below everybody. I want everybody to comment below how many months that you are like, what months are you at with the dreadlock journey so that everybody can just comment below under your comment and congratulate you and everything. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse. I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys get the Activerse jewelries before a sellout. I'm out.